and welcome to the channel. I'm just going to make one more technical video because I finally understood myself how to vectorize pixel drawings, pixel images into vector images with Illustrator. That's something I was looking for for a while now. I knew more or less how it worked and all the tutorials I found on YouTube always seem to make it more complicated than it is. But it isn't. I'm just going to show you what I did just now, a few minutes ago. Unfortunately, my uh, illustrator is in German, but uh, maybe you can just uh, figure out the tool sets yourself. Or you are German and you're happy about it. Anyway, I have this uh, Doom Toad uh, logo. You might remember that I uh, did an, a YouTube intro video for the Doom Toad channel and the guy needs it now in a vectorized form. So this is my pixel image. I just opened it in Illustrator and I'm just going to take this one in my new file where I want to have it. And then I'm going to size it down. I am holding shift while I'm doing this so that the size stays the same. Okay, so we have this image and what we need is that we go here from the usual functions, preferences. We go from the Grundfunktion over to Nachzeichnen. I'm just going to look up the names in English and I'm, ju I'm just going to blend them in after I filmed this. So I'm going on Nachzeichnen and getting a whole different layout here in the window. So this is my picture now, which I want to use. And you have to be here at Vorgabe. So this is uh, what you are going to change here in this menu. So what I want to have is the contours in black and white mode. Here I can activate this one. Yeah, yeah I know that you're going to work quite hard now. This is going to take a bit, oh, went faster than I thought. And this one is how many colors are in this picture. Now, if I want to have lines that are only black, I only need one color. So it's going to calculate and voila. So you have only the black lines and in the color. Uh, the rest, I think you don't even have to touch. I played around with it a little bit. Um, it didn't change that much for me. Uh, what I did was click on contours and yeah, 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 work on the contours. So one thing I did, I don't know if it had any effect, but I made the contours bigger. Oh, yeah. uh, you're working so much computer, I'm so sorry. And I clicked on ignore the whites, whites ignorieren. So this is now what we're going to get out and it should be transparent and only the black lines. The last thing you have to do is up here there is this button where it's called umwandeln and you click on it. And there you have it. When you go back to your uh, main functions you have your layer and there is now your path. And then you can do all the things like e export it as a PNG again, like <laughs> activate the pixels again or we'll save it as Adobe Illustrator EPS file. Anyway, there you have it as a vector. I should be able to just change the size and it should stay sharp. Yeah, there it is. Like a usual normal vector image, you can now change it from a small size to a big size without it changing the pixels or the sharpness because there are no pixels left. So this is kind of like my epiphany for this morning. I'm quite happy I finally understood it. I never understood it with the videos, but I understood it with one text tutorial I found and it was pretty easy. So I just wanted to give you this quick thing here. Hopefully the video will be under 10 minutes or even five, we will see. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed also this little technical side. So, see you next time. Bye!